All right, in this video, we're going to do some more regular expressions, and now we're going to work on the Twitter follower count. Very similar to the YouTube subscriber count that I did last week using regular expressions. And this may seem kind of hacky, but the point is, I've been using this Google sidebar for over a month now, and I haven't had any funky numbers getting returned to me. It works. Now, you may run into an issue, I want to address that here, where it may seem like it's not doing the regular expression in KOWP. KOWP may uh, seem to take forever to save, and I do want to address how you can fix that or how I've fixed it. And what I've done here is I've taken that YouTube sub count, the video I did last week, and I've put that into a component. That component is in my free components folder, and it's just a text of that piece that we did last week. However, I did change the URL to GVURL, so take a wild guess at what that is. If I go back to that component that I've called YouTube subcount, go over to Globals, and I do have a YouTube URL, and you can put whatever URL you want into here to see if you can pull the number of subscribers from that particular channel. Now, let's go on to Twitter. We're going to do something very similar here, and I'm not logged into Twitter. I do find that getting the source code uh, works better if you're not logged in. I don't know why, but just don't log into Twitter when you're doing this. So I want to get that 21 followers, and then as we end the video, we're going to look at another Twitter account, and this is the Net Ninja. I also looked at the number of his subscribers last week using the same regular expression that I did for my number of subscribers just as a way to make sure that this is working. So what we're gonna to try to grab from his Twitter page right here shortly is the number of followers, which is if you look right above the mouse here, it says 81,540. So going over to any Twitter page, I'm gonna right click, view page source, and this is the source code. So let's search this entire source code for followers. And unfortunately, we're not going to get just one like we did with YouTube. However, I'm just going to look around followers, 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 and this is the one that I want because I'm on my source code and there's the 21 that I want to capture in a capture group. It turns out if I take this little piece here that's highlighted, if I search for that, there's only one match in this entire source code. So that's a good place for us to start where we can start matching things up and getting our capture group and whatnot. So let's take this entire source code, select all of it, Let's copy, let's go over to regxr.com and let's paste it in there. Now I'm going to go back to the source code again and I'm going to take that data nav followers. We only have one match of that. Go back into regxr and let's look for that as our expression. Notice we do have one match here, but we wanna make some changes. That way it's gonna work in KOWP. But before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and match up with everything after this. What do I mean by that? Basically, I want to match up with everything after this highlighted orange piece, all of this stuff. I want to match everything all the way down to the end of this source code. This is very similar to the YouTube tutorial I did with the YouTube subscriber count. I'm gonna do a character set. I want to look for anything that's not a word character or anything that is a word character, and I want to match one or more of those non-word or word characters. You will notice now that we have a bunch of blue. I'm going to scroll up through all of this junk and there's supposed to be a little arrow bar navigation thing over here, but it's not. So I'm going to scroll up until I find where the match starts. That may take you a while, but there it is. So data nav followers and we're matching everything after it using that character set right there. Now something I want to come in here and do is I want to take away that quotation mark and I want to use a dot. A dot will match any character except a line break. We want to do that for all quotations because KOWP doesn't like quotation marks since we're going to wrap our regular expression in quotation marks inside of the custom app. Now I'm going to go on a limb here and just say, hey, probably everything up until this number is going to remain the same. If it changes, then we can do some quick tweaking to our regular expression. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to match the space and the quotation. So I'm going to use two dots. Notice that matches that space and that quotation. It's now highlighted. And then we have the word followers. So there's our followers. Now notice that's getting matched. And then we have a space. So if I put another dot, Notice we match that spot right there. Now we are ready to grab this 21 or whatever it may be. 
One thing to note, if I go over to the source code for the Net Ninja, his Twitter page, if I go to DataNav followers, notice he has quite a few more followers than I do, but what I wanna point out here is the comma. So we have to search for digits and commas in our character set. Very similar to the YouTube tutorial last week, character set, we want to match anything that's a digit, so we have to escape a D, that's gonna be any digit, or any comma inside of that character set matching one or more of the preceding token. That's how we're getting the 21 matched up right there. Notice if I take away the plus, it's not matching the two. By us putting that plus there, it's going to match one or more of digits and commas. So that's what we want to capture. So to capture that, I'm going to wrap that character set with the plus in parentheses, but we're still not done yet. Now we want to match up everything else in front of this number, all of this stuff up here. Well, very similar to the YouTube tutorial last week for subscriber count, a character set, any non-word character, any word character, one or more of the preceding token. Now we're still not in the clear. If I go to replace and I replace it with that capture group one, it's only returning a one because what it's doing here, we have to make this match here lazy. Basically, the way I interpret this, when I put this question mark here, that lazy question mark, it's going to match up right until we get to those digits and those commas. And notice what happened there. When I put that question mark, we do have a 21 getting returned to us. Whereas if I take away that question mark, it's not going to match the 21. So making this thing lazy, the way I interpret it, it's going to stop right when it gets to this character set. And as a matter of fact, it's a capture group now since we have it wrapped in parentheses. So this right here is the regular expression I want to use. Let's go back into custom. I'm going to take this component, this YouTube sub count. And again, you can pick these up from the free components folder. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm gonna take that one and I'm going to drag it up outside of the clipped region in my Google sidebar. I'm going to position this thing in the center of the screen just so we can see it. I'm gonna go back to root and I'm going to rename this component to Twitter. Listen to this. Probably a good idea right now before we start doing any of this regular expression stuff. Take this component, go ahead and export it. I'm saving this one as Twitter followers. You can find this in the free components folder as well. Now let's just go into this Twitter followers component that we have now saved. Let's go over to globals and let's copy and paste a Twitter URL that you want to get the followers for. So I'm gonna put that back in this text global, the URL text global. There's the URL. Just for organization purposes, I'm going to edit this thing and I'm going to rename this to Twitter URL. All right, so now you may notice the number disappeared because now we have an entirely different URL and we also have to modify inside of this text, this blank now. It's not using the YouTube URL, so this regular expression here is trash. It does not work. Let's go back to regexr. I'm going to copy this new regular expression and I'm going to delete the old one from the YouTube inside of the quotations and let's paste it. Now, we don't have any errors, but we don't get anything returned to us either. Listen to this. If I check this and I save it, notice this thing is going to spin. It says saving, saving, saving. Here's how you can fix this. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that component, Twitter followers. I'm going to export it again, keeping the same name. And also, just so I don't have to re-add these pieces, I'm going to export my entire preset, naming it whatever I want. Now when that's saved, sure, if I click on save again, it's gonna sit there and spin. So let's see if we can fix this. I'm going to exit out of the app. I'm going to open up my recent apps and I'm just going to click on close all or you could just close KLWP. I'm gonna open custom back up. I'm going to load that preset. And now if we give it a second to load, more than likely the Twitter followers is gonna be there. As you can see, there it is. And that's actually this one that we had trouble saving a moment ago, but now it is there. So let's save our preset. Let's go back to the home screen. And if I slide on over, yes, it is there. I don't know why it does that, but if you have trouble with your regular expression, it seems like it's bogging KOWP down. Notice what I did. I exported my preset with the regular expression in it. I exited out of the app. 
I closed KOWP down using the recent apps or heck, just close everything down. And then I simply reloaded the app up, reloaded that preset, or you can reload that component. And this has worked for me. I'm glad I finally found a solution to that because it was driving me bonkers in the past. Like, why would that regular expression not load? Why would it not save? Well, I found that exiting the app, completely closing it down, reloading it up, bam, worked like a charm. I hope that works for you. And before we leave now, let's come in here and let's go and change inside of the Twitter followers component. I'm gonna go over to globals and I'm going to get a different URL. I'm going to get the net ninja one. So see if we get this, what is it now? So it's still 81,540. I refresh the page and look at there, 81,543. So taking that URL, let's copy and paste it into custom. So there's the new URL. Let's check it. Now, oh, look at that, just like that. Boom, 81,543 and that matches that perfectly. So as you can see, the regular expression is working fine now. And there you have it. That's how you can get the Twitter follower count very similar to the YouTube subscriber count. Again, you can pick both of these components up from my free components folder. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.